Madge, how do you reconcile that? Um, some good signs from a disrupted and battered team, but at the end of the day, another loss. Yeah, yep. I thought uh, our intent to the way we went about things was, um, it was there. You know, I, I can say, well, I had a committed team. Yeah, we just didn't handle moments in the games the way we should have, and uh, you know, unfortunately it um, got away on us. So, uh, yeah, I've got a, a group down there that's hurting a fair bit at the moment uh, because the amount of work that they're putting in, they're not getting the rewards for it. But I do know if they uh, continually start the things that we're doing, um, you know, the boys will start getting the right results. And you know, we, we had a number of players sort of playing in all sorts of positions there. You know, just where we're at at this present moment with a number of guys sitting on the sideline. So. Yeah, I was actually really proud of how the boys went about things. Um, you know, was, you know we're, we're hurting because we're not getting the results. And uh, I think, you know, a few things go our way. Um, you know, I think we know there that a few balls stick and then all of a sudden it's a different result. But, you know, that's what the season's about. It's, a, you know, I'm building who we are as a group. Um, it's called resilience. Uh, that's what I saw today. Are you hurting also because the officials didn't check maybe everything they should have checked? Did uh, you score a try in the first half that wasn't even looked at? Yeah, I just don't understand that. I really don't understand when you've got that much technology in our game that you can't go back and see it. It's ridiculous, really. I mean, you know, those, they're big moments for teams that are you know, feeling a, or going through a period like we are. You know, they're, they're game changers, as we know, and, uh, yeah, we had an opportunity at the back end, but it changes the mentality within a game. And that's why we have technology to be able to, to work through those things. And obviously I'll have to have another look at it, but... Uh, Do you big... think it's a try? What you've seen have... so far? Well, the ball went backwards. You now and it looked like a try to me. So that's a game changer there, right there. Um, you know, it's scoreboard pressure. You know, the pressures that go on any team. Um, you know, and obviously the... At the back end, you know, we were chasing points, so you know, those sorts of pressures aren't there if those things go your way. So we'll keep working hard for that. Jimmy, were you on the field at the time? Did you get an explanation or were you off? Uh, no explanation, no. I think he just, uh, Ziggy's just tried to continue the play of the game, which at some points of, of the game later on at night was not there. He was pulling up things and things like that. So um, it, it was on the field and it was obviously quick, but um, like Madge said, you know, we've got all the technology, everything there, that's what that's there for, all this money spent on this sort of stuff, to have a look at things like that. And those are, you know, ice and those opportunities, like Madge said, for, for a team like us. I mean, the, med the, med the medical people seem to be able to pick up things a lot better than what the, uh, I've got to be careful how I say this, what you saw there. You know, last week we had two HIAs, which I get they've got to go through the processes and, and iron them out, but, you know, once again, technology, you know, in a moment in the game, got us. Like it's, you know, we've got people spotting those sorts of different things and they go back to passages in games, five or six minutes or whatever it was last week, and we get a player taken off, their player stays on, but they can't go and check that. I, I don't. They've got to get them right. You know, they're big things for teams like us that, you know, we've got nine sitting on the sideline that could be playing first grade at the moment, and we don't jump up and down about you know, those sorts of things, because we're committing ourselves that, you know, we don't want to look at those sorts of things. But that moment there changes the outcome of where we ended up tonight. I was going to say, and you had, there was another moment there in the second half. I know, like, we talk about, you know, you talk about stoppages there. Like, I think where Chanel stayed down, and then all of a sudden you guys get the penalty, there's momentum there, and then the game has to stop for another minute to get him off the field. Like, is that sort of add to your frustrations about not stopping at some points but stopping at others? And well, they've got to work them out because they're, they're changing games. That is changing games and it's dictating, obviously, you know, what happens throughout a game. Yes. Hey, Stefano, is it um, ankle sprain or Achilles? Uh, ankle sprain, yeah. yeah. Not a good one. It's uh, not looking good, that one. So, yeah, we're, we're facing a bit of adversity as a club at the moment with the people that we have on the sideline. I mean, um, you know, Adam Dewey, Sean Bloor, Tommy Talao, AJ, um, Kenny Mamalo. James Roberts, so I can go through the names, but you know, one thing I'm really proud about my players is that they don't look to those sorts of things, but it is part of what's going on at the moment, so we've got to acknowledge that, but you know, as a team, they know downstairs that you know, they had that game where they needed it, and they, uh, they needed to ice that, so you know, they're the things that are, we'll go through as a group. Now, I don't know, man, this is not a silly question, but uh, Dane lost his contact was that able? Did he get that back in for that last ten or fifteen minutes? Uh, I'd have to check with the um, physios. They're normally pretty good there, so uh, I'd have to check on that one. Okay. Yeah. That's, did 
you feel like you, you guys played with more freedom tonight? Like, I know you only scored 12 points, what it was in the end, but it, it looked like Luke Brooks ran the ball a lot uh, more than he did last week and sort of a lot more ball movement than there was a week ago. Is that fair? A lot of heat was put on us last week, but we made 20 errors or whatever it was. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves. So you don't get to do the things you'd like to if you put pressure on yourself. We, we control the game uh, through passages of tonight's game the way we'd like to. You know, I said at the start of the season, we're going to change our style and we're going to have a look at a different way of playing. And you know, we are a, a team that you know, has the ability of playing like that. But then you've got to learn how to control and you know, play with patience. And so you know, we're going through a period of that at the moment where you know, I know that we'll get better with that. But you know, we've got to stay at it. It works. You know, we showed there. We, we bombed a couple of tries tonight. You know, it's as simple as that. Uh, but we were able to set ourselves up to give ourselves the opportunities. And you know, I thought, Defensively, you know, we had a, another couple of kicks on fifth tackle that got us. So we need to work harder in those areas of our game to make sure that you know we nullify those uh, those tries. Great, thanks, guys.